I often get asked, how do I know if snails are eating my plants? Is it an insect? Is it a snail? Is it a grasshopper? Is it a caterpillar? Well, what I've got in front of me is a perfect, perfect example of what snails do. Take a closer look here. Along the edges of all these little succulents, they have been opened up and eaten inside. The best way to find out if it is snails indeed is to do it during the day because snails will go and hide underneath the leaves. They find a way to tuck themselves in just underneath them, especially any long strap-like leaves, like your agapanthus, your clivias, bromeliads, and of course our succulents. And if I have to look around here, well, there's the little blighter. That's him, and that's what they do. Remember, they don't eat during the day, they only eat at night. So the other thing is, just after you've had a light shower of rain, maybe a gorgeous thunderstorm, and it's early evening, go out and have a look, because that's when they start eating. They love coming out, or just fake it. Sprinkle the plants with a little bit of water with the hose pipe, go out and you will find them. A great way to involve the kids is give them 50 cents. They'd probably demand 10 rand a snail, <laughs> but see how many they can collect, um, and then you can choose to do with them what you want. A great example, stick them onto your compost heap, I'm afraid you do have to kill them at this point. Kill them, put them onto your compost heap. They form a great, great form of nutrition for your compost as well. So the other thing is people often ask me, well, what is the difference between these guys and the very, very big ones that we see in our gardens? Well, those big ones, folks, don't kill them, whatever you do. If I'm driving along the road and I find one of them, I stop, pick it up, put it in the back of my bucky and carry on home. And he gets relocated into my garden because it's a carnivorous snail. Oh yes, it eats these guys. Seriously, it'll find them, sniff them out, and it will just grab it in here and pull this whole slug right out of its shell. So those little guys are like chameleons. You really want to protect them in your garden and make sure that you have loads and loads of them. The other question that we often asked, it's going to stay here for now. How do I know that I've got aphids? We'll take a look here. This is a prime example of what aphids are. Often found on the tips of plants where there's fresh young growth, which makes it easy for them to suck the sap out of the plant because that's what they do. That's their main function. There they are, these little black oaks over here. And you'll notice that there are lots of ants running around as well because the ants milk the aphids to get and remove a product called honeydew. And that's what they love taking back to their little ones. How do you get rid of aphids? A strong jet of water will get rid of them and there are many products at your local garden centre. Go along, tell them you've got aphids and how do I deal with it? There are many products out there. The most important thing to do is follow the instructions, please. If it says one mil, then only use one mil into one litre of water. Mm -hmm.